mixed reality is evolving at a slightly slower rate than augmented and virtual reality. Market leaders like Microsoft are beginning to introduce the world to what the future of MR could really look like. Hello and welcome to XR Today, I'm your technology presenter Isabel Blakemore and in this video I'll be going through what mixed reality is and how it all works. So first, let's go into an insight into the definition of mixed reality. So imagine sitting in a room at your office. You can see all the physical items around you like desks and chairs, but you can also interact with digital content too, like a shared document which updates in real time to the cloud, or a prototype you can experiment with using a digital interface. That's basically the promise of mixed reality. Although this might sound similar to augmented reality in which additional information can be implemented into a physical space, MR is a little more advanced. In mixed reality, the physical and virtual worlds combine and interact, so MR essentially blurs the line of what's real and what isn't. So how does mixed reality work? Mixed reality uses a series of cameras, sensors and often AI enhanced technology to process data about a space and use that information to create digitally enhanced experiences. When for instance a user puts on a set of mixed reality glasses, the camera and sensors in those glasses connect to a software program which collects as much information about the environment as possible, essentially creating a virtual map of the real world. Using that map, the MR technology can add holographic images and content into the world through the use of image projections. But to work effectively, MR needs to be able to track things like objects, surfaces and boundaries via scene understanding and spatial mapping, a person's body position and movements, objects and physical locations, and ambient lighting and sound for adding realism. So what is mixed reality spectrum? One of the best ways to look at mixed reality is through the mixed reality spectrum. According to Innovace in XR, mixed reality exists in a spectrum alongside virtual and augmented reality. This spectrum is otherwise known as the virtually continuum. On one end of the spectrum, we have the physical, real world environments where human beings exist and interact with physical objects. On the opposite end of the spectrum, it's the digital environment created through computer programs and software. With mixed reality, you're creating a fully immersive experience where you can place digital objects in the physical world through things like holograms and interact with it as though it was physically present. So what can mixed reality do? Mixed reality programming allows digital objects to interact with physical environments and people to interact with virtual elements as though they were real. Basically, we can enhance and improve every aspect of our world. But with mixed reality, we can do things like innovate faster, collaborate, support workers and improve training. So what is the future of mixed reality? A true mixed reality experience is still in development. We're still trying to find the best ways of putting digital content into the world as we know it, but innovation is happening, and more rapidly than most people might expect. Already, Forrester Research believes more than 14 million workers in the US will be using smart glasses by 2025. As enterprises push for a future enhanced by extended reality, the opportunities in MR will only continue to grow. That's all from me, but there is plenty more information about mixed reality over on the XR Today website and you can go straight there by clicking on the link below this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the XR Today website for more videos and news updates. Thanks for watching.